Hi everyone, welcome to our lesson. Today, grade eight mathematics, final exam, revision questions and answers number three, first two with music. Now we are gonna explain. So I hope you'll help. So let's start. Today we have 10 questions, 10 multiple choice questions. Question one, we are gonna calculate that. So how can we calculate this? Let's start and let's explain. Options two, 16, 14, and 164. First of all, as you see, you have 125, and this number is here, three. It means 125. First of all, we are gonna write with power of something. So what is possible for 125? Just think about that. 125, if I write five power of three, is it gonna work, right? Because five times five times five, you are getting 125. So I can write with five power of three. Why I'm making three? Because you have three here and then you are gonna just cancel them. So we have three and cancel. So only five will be left. So next one, 81. As you see, if there's no number square root, it means this one is two. So you must make something with power two. 81, 81, just think about that. 81 is nine times nine. So I can write nine power of two. I hope it's okay, it's clear. So nine, two, if there's no number we said, we have two here and cancel each other. And then what is left? Five plus nine. And our answer is 14, answer is C. All right, so how we start firstly, we must just try to get same power, you know, for this one, for three, and then we are making same power and to cancel them all. Because this one, if you see three power of, five power of three, okay, we can show like this, three, another option, one over three. So three times one over three, getting, just simplify, and getting five power of one. 5 power of 1 is equal to 5. We are, not doing, we are not doing this long way, just simplify like this. So step 1, make same number, just try to get this power for each and simplify, done. So this is our question 1, answer is C. Let's clear all and let's continue with next question. Yes, answer is C, 14 is correct. Let's continue with next one. So we have another calculation. Let's see what is 12 times three plus one over three and division divide by one. So decimal numbers all together. So for this kind of question, step one, what? We are just adding in brackets what we have, adding them all and another brackets here. So we must just add this one also and multiply by 12 and divide by that. So step by step, we are going to answer. All right, let's start with this one. Okay, let's do this and this. Maybe with same step, we can do step one. Let's say equals 12 times. Can I write 3 over 1 plus 1 over 3? Why I am doing that? Because I want to make them these two equal and divide by, so what I'm gonna get, one over three zero plus zero comma seven zero. So let's just use this way, just to understand, zero, seven, zero. So before decimal zero plus zero, even you don't need to write, just over there, three plus seven is 10. I'm just putting just 10 zero here and the one left just taking one that side, two comma zero zero. It means two. So we can write simple two. Okay, from now for this step, can I just multiply by three, this one and one, this one to make them all three. So 12 times three times three, just multiply by this one and this one, you know that. Three times three is nine over three plus one times one is one over three and divide by two. And next step, so let's just, let's change our color and then we can carry on. So nine 
plus one because we have three and three equal here. So we can just add on top. So 12 times 10 over three. We don't need any more brackets. So we can carry on. So divide by two. 12 and three, we can simplify or 12 times 10, you can divide by three. It's up to you. Just I want to simplify first. 12 over three is four, right? So four times 10, I can get 40. So 40 divided by two and getting 20. This is our answer D. All right. So step by step for this kind of questions, just brackets first and then other step by step we are calculating. It looks difficult, but it's easy as you see. All right, let's continue with next question. But I think next slide is showing you answer. Yes, 20. Answer is D. Question three is coming now. H, C, F of these three numbers with X, Y. So what is H, C, F, number one? Let's see. The highest common factor. So highest common of two numbers or more numbers is fine is the highest possible number that divides both the numbers completely. So we are looking for these numbers, which one in options, which one can divide these three of them. All right, so for powers, let's make it easy for you. If you have four powers, we have easy way. X power of two you have, X power of three, X power of one. So smallest one we can use. For powers, we are using smallest one. For x, we can say our number is x. So x is smallest one, can divide all of them. x square x, because x square over x is equal to x. You know that, because how we are getting that? x power of two minus one, x power of one is equal to x. So you are, we are using this, and then for y, Check y power of one. If there's no number, it means one. You know that, right? So you have one, one here. So smallest one is y. X and y, yes, we have done. So what about 12, 42, 27? How can we do that? How can we get HCF for these three numbers? We can use this way, 12, 42, and 27. And just writing the, using this way, just try with two. If I use two, divide everything? No, because 12 over two is six, 42 is 21 and 27, but as we see, 27 still here. And then divide by two again. So three, 21, 27. So we are gonna just make circle, which one divide all? So three, 21, 27, so three will be okay because three over three is one, 27 over, 21 over three is seven, and 27 is nine. So you can just carry on it's just to complete, but we are looking for this number just to, that was we need. So seven and one more time, three, one, and then seven left here, seven, and you finalize. So which one, what number divides all three? But if you have, more, for example, two or three, and you are going to multiply them to get that number. But now only these three divide all. So our answer is C, as you see. So number three, done. I hope everything is fine so far. We are answering our questions, final exam questions. These questions from final exam from past papers. We are trying to answer with you. We are trying to explain. But please try first, and then you can see answer. It's much better for you, all right? I forget to remind that, but please do use that way. Okay, now another question. Now speed, okay. A car travels for 300 kilometer at an average speed of 65 kilometer per hour. How long does it take the car to, to cover the distance? Okay, distance is 300 kilometers and speed, average speed is 65 kilometer per hour. If moving every hour, 65 kilometer, so what is your distance? So what is your time? Just we are looking for time. Time equals, we are using this formula. Time is equal to distance, distance over speed. You can use this formula straight, and then I will explain also more. 300 
over 65. And then what you are getting, let's see, 300 over 65. And our answer is C, 4.6, 300. Okay, 300 over 65, answer is C, 4.6. Okay, let's write it here, 4.6 hours. Okay, 4.6 hours we are getting. How we are getting it one more time, let's explain. First of all, I'm using distance over speed, this formula. Just to understand, if you have a distance, let's say 300, yeah, they said 300 kilometers. 300 kilometers. Every hour, you are moving 65 kilometers. First hour, 65. Second hour, another 65. Total, 130. Another one, 65. And just like that, carry on. Finally, you complete your 300. So to get your time using distance over speed. If they ask you speed, they can next time they can ask you that question. If they ask you speed, our formula is... If they are asking you speed, let's write speed equals, speed is equal to distance over time. Okay, distance over time. If they ask you distance, what's gonna happen? Distance equals, distance is equal to speed times time. All right, so we have three different formulas you see. Now they are asking you time, just when you are, Answering past paper questions, please check what kind of question they can ask you, what, how they can change and ask you again these kind of questions. Time equals distance over speed is fine. Now they are asking you time, but maybe next time they're asking you speed. Speed equals distance over time. If they ask you distance, speed times time. All right, I think we have done. We can carry on. Today we have 10 questions. Let's continue with number five. Question five is coming now. Subtract minus 4x plus 8y plus 6 from 2x. So, ah, what's going on? Eh? So you are going to just subtract from this number with x and y. It's easy. You will see now. So first of all, they said from this number. So we are going to write that first. 2x plus 3y minus 1. And let's just use brackets maybe here. Minus they said, subtract from here, minus 4x plus 8y plus 6. As you see, I put in brackets, and then I put minus here. So this minus to subtract is changing all sign. So now let's open brackets. You have plus, so it's fine. You can just say, let's say equals, just we can change color now, 2x just use exactly the same sign because there's no negative here, there's no minus there, plus 3y minus 1. And minus and minus, plus making plus, right? Plus 4, minus, minus 1 times minus 1, just think like that. Negative, negative, making positive. So negative and this negative, just think you have negative 1 here, right? So negative 1 just multiply by negative 4, making plus positive 4. And negative one times plus eight, making minus eight. Negative and positive, making negative eight y. And the negative one times positive six, making negative six. It is our step one. So now all change from now, but don't forget to write x here. So from now, what I'm gonna do, just think you have apples and orange, you know, x for apples, y for orange. So you have two apples and four apples here. So how you are gonna do, you must just add them or subtract them, all right. So I'm just using this way, making group, two X plus, <clears throat> plus, right, yeah, plus four X, and then four Y, three Y, and minus eight Y. As you say, I'm making group X together, Y's together, and then just simple numbers together, negative one, negative six. From now, what I'm gonna do, I'm just open bracket for special for x, for two plus four x and plus in brackets, special for y now, three minus eight y. And you can do this number. If we have same sign, you are adding them. Okay, don't do that by mistake, my one minus six. As you see, negative one, negative six, it's same, right? 
So you are adding them. So negative seven, you are getting negative seven in, uh, you can just show here if you want. For example, you are here now, negative one, and then you are going extra negative so minus six steps. If you move six steps this way, so you are coming to negative seven. Okay, negative one plus negative six, just like that. You are adding them, all right. But now, as you see, you have plus here and minus. You must subtract them. Okay, I will explain that one also. Now, you have two and four, positive and positive. You are adding. Just like negative, negative, you are adding, right? So positive and positive also you are adding. Two and four making six x. But if you have positive and negative, what's going to happen? Subtract from each other. Subtract and then use which one? Bigger one. Okay, eight, negative eight is more than positive three. So I'm just you're writing negative and subtract eight minus three is five, negative five. I hope it's okay. If you have same number, same sign, negative, negative, adding them. Positive, positive, you're adding. But if you have positive and negative, you're just using bigger one side and subtract eight minus three is five. Five y minus seven. I hope it's okay. Our answer is six x minus five y and minus seven. Answer is B. Okay, let's see our answer, <laughs> correct or not. So let's continue with question five. Answer is B. Yes, we have done question five, done. All right, maybe from six to 10, another lesson we can do. Maybe you are tired. So please try these questions. Next video also, please, when you come, please, when you see question first, just stop video, pause video. I'm gonna wait for you, don't worry. We are gonna try first, write your answers and then check answer with solution and then with my explanation. All right, see you next lesson. Have a nice day.